Colonel Mark Lane. He's going to tell you a little bit about this uh, new light a version of their uh, Mark III 2245. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, hi, Jeff. How's it going today? Pretty good so far. Good, good. Well, I want to show you the new Ruger light that we came out with this year. Very similar to the uh, last year's model Ruger light, but one of the things we've done, we've changed the profile that we have on the gun, and we actually put ventilated holes on it. And one of the kind of cool things you can see, you can actually see right in it and see the fact that we actually have a suspended barrel that's on the inside of this gun. So anyway, it's uh, still the same great features. We got the groove of grip panels on it with a uh, loader chamber indicator and all the great things that we have in our uh, 2245 lights with the 45 uh, style grip on it. Okay, thank you, Mark. You bet. What's your website? Website, Ruger.com. This is your tactical right. solution booth at SHOT Show 2014. I uh, really love this new uh, 300 blackout up that we got here. And Keith's going to tell you more about it. Go ahead, Keith. Sure, this is our new TSAR 300, chambered in 300 blackout cartridge. It's a 11 inch barrel with the shroud permanently affixed, bringing it to a legal length of 16.1 inches. It's set up to be run in semi auto or full auto. It's got a free flow two piece handguard. It's our handguard. Comes with the inert suppressor. You can, it's threaded for 5 8 24, so you can put your, whatever suppressor you like on. The diameter here, the inside diameter is 1.75 inches, so it'll take most 308 caliber suppressors. Um, overall weight is about 5.5 pounds. Quick and easy, just pop out your pins. Oh, you want it already? Take off your original upper, slide this one on. You can use a standard 223 magazine. Are these available now, Keith? They'll be starting shipping in approximately March. Okay, and what's your website? Our website is tacticalsol.com. All right, thanks, Keith. I'm sitting here at the Caltech's booth with Chad. He's got a real interesting rifle I want to tell you about. Go ahead, Chad. How you guys doing? Thanks for stopping by Gun Blast. Here we've got the introducing this year SHOT Show 2014, the M43. Beautiful wood furniture. Takes your standard AR magazine. So far, we're starting out with the 223. We'll, we'll probably do some uh, other calibers down the road, um, including 308. I'm too excited because it's going to be a while. Uh, this gun, uh, we should have uh, this and also the RDB uh, coming out uh, about third or fourth quarter, I believe, um, this year. So. It ejects out the bottom back It here, is. Right? Yep. RDB stands for Rifle Downward Ejecting Bolt Up. So yep, your shells come out of the bottom right here. Um, of course, the charging handle is uh, swappable. So again, uh, George did everything aim and fully ambidextrous. Um, it's got standard safety, a lever on both sides. Um, it's got an excellent trigger. I don't know if you dry fired it yet. I have. It's got a, an excellent trigger uh, group in it. In fact, it's it's nicer than most of my ARs. It is sweet. Yeah. So. Great gun. Um, it will come with a standard uh, AR threading on there, so you can put your, uh, you know, whatever break you want to put on the end of the rope. So Are you shipping me one tomorrow? Good one? No, we're shipping you two tomorrow. You got to have one with the wood and the wood and the wood and the furniture. Yeah. So what was it? Fourth ta quarter. Tactical and classic. Fourth quarter. Correct. Yeah. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Thanks a lot. I wanted to say one other thing yeah. too. Uh, it's serialized here, uh -huh. so you can actually interchange all these parts. Uh, you know, with each gun, so you can know, combine this with wood furniture on the rail, um, or you can do uh, just a flip up sights, or whatever you want to do. Okay. This is an adjustable regulator over here? Yeah, it is, it is a gas adjustable, a yeah. uh, short stroke piston. Okay, and what's your website? Uh, www.keltechweapons.com. All right, thanks a lot, Chad. I'm sitting here with Kendra Longsane in the Cimarron booth. She's on a nice little 66 carbine. She will tell us a little bit about it. Go ahead, Kendra. This is the 66 Trapper, and it's got a nice little left action on it. Um, this is something that I could use in my sport of cowboy mounted shooting or, or cowboy shooting. Single action. Is it hard to um, shoot a cowboy from the ground water? Oh, they're easy to shoot. Okay. What about, um, one thing I really like about the Simmons is they're real slick, especially 66, 73. Oh, yeah. It's got a real slick active It seems like Cimarron pays a little bit more attention to them than some of the other imports are. They do. And uh, with the 16-inch barrel, it makes a real balanced in my hand when I'm shooting it. Um, especially if I'm shooting from the horse, I drop the rein, and I shoot this from the moving horse as fast as I can. Yeah. Okay, what's the website? Uh, right at the, uh, right at the okay. Thanks, Ken. You bet. Works 
Smith and Wesson Booth, um, Tony Killmonger, he's got uh, they've really redone his bodyguard, done some different things to it. We did a review on it a while back. This is different than the gun we reviewed. I'll let Jim tell you more about it. Go ahead, Jim. How you doing, Jeff? This is our MP Bodyguard 380. Yeah, the six plus one round 380 auto pistol. Stainless steel slide and barrel with our maximum corrosion resistant finish. All stainless steel uh, front and rear drift reduction sights. Six plus one round with our new uh, MP Bodyguard 380 slide with the MP fish scales and MP engraving on it. Uh, this is a no laser version of our Bodyguard 380, brand new for 2014. What's your website, Jim? We are at www.smith-wesson.com. Thanks a lot. Sitting here at Chuck Show with Bob Baker talking to him about They make the, the finest revolvers in the world. I've used them for a long time. I really like them. I want him to tell you a little bit about his revolvers, how, how they make them so good, and uh, the quality in these things, a little bit about the company. Go ahead, Bob. Say whatever you want. Appreciate it. Uh, SARS are considered the best of the best. We do all the hand finishing, uh, we even the line bore this chamber to match the receiver. The guns are production built on parts, but then once they start coming together, then they're hand fit. So pretty much one on one, almost custom. The thing I like about your gun, one thing, you can take a, a Ruger and send them to a custom gun smith, and you get a nice gun back. You know, but you spent $3,500. And you, you can't get that money back out of it. Free to warm guns, you know, the holder value, the quality made, and they come out of the factory tighter. And you know, I've had custom guns that tell me they can't make a gun as tight as your gun. So starting with a murder, which is a good, strong gun, but they can't make it as quality as yours. And I really like the way you the way you build your guns, the way you run the company, and uh, you're out of free to warm. Uh, and you want to tell us what your website is, Bob? It's freedomarms.com. Okay, thanks, Bob. Yeah, appreciate it. EAA boost. Jessica's holding one of our witness pistols. And uh, go ahead and say whatever you want to Jessica. Well, I just want to say welcome to the 2014 SHOT Show. It's got a loophole booth with Eric Overstreet. Uh, they've nicked some off. Uh, come out with a new model on the range finders. They've got excellent range finders. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit more about it. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, we're introducing the RX 1200i TBR. Uh, we have the current RX 1000i TBR. It's been uh, the best-selling range finder in the market for the last three years. Uh, we managed to squeeze a little bit more distance out of it. And we are getting 200 additional yards on soft targets. Uh, so with this model, we should be able to range deer out past 800 yards now. Uh, additionally, it's got the OLED display inside. So we've got light transmission that's upwards of 90%. So for that first half an hour of the day and that last half an hour of the day, uh, you'll definitely be able to see your subject. Uh, and with the OLED red display, uh, you'll also be able to read the numbers uh, in those really low light conditions. Uh, easy to use setup, uh, seven adjustable ballistic groups so that uh, you can set this to whatever caliber rifle you have. And uh, it'll be a great tool uh, in your toolkit combined with a CDS scope from Luke Holden Stevens. Thanks a lot. What I like about it, Eric, is it's so small. You know, you fit in the shirt pocket. I don't remember my first range finder was like a loaf of bread. Yeah. It was huge. Uh, what's your website? Uh, www.loophole.com. Okay, thanks, Eric. Yep, thank you. I'm going to the new uh, short rifle they got. So this has got a round barrel. Case hard receiver, they also have them with a blue receiver. These are made up uh, in Japan by Morocco, does a fine job on Winchester. So thanks, uh, we're gonna go over here. These are very now. slick. Morocco's been making some guns for Brown and Winchester for a long time. They did a real good job on these. No uh, safety here on the back, which I love. It's a real nice rifle, a uh, good slick action. 73 is one of the best ever ever built for being slick, and we're glad to see Winchester name on competition booth with Annie Foster. She really knows how to run these guns. She's not a just a booth babe like in some of these uh, booths around here. She knows what she's doing. She works with the company. She shoots three gun and she's really good at it. So I'm gonna let Annie tell you a little bit more about this rifle. Go ahead Annie. Thanks Jeff. This year we came out with the new law enforcement military rifles. We've got six of them actually. This one's our 14 and a half inch RR rapid response with the 14 and a half inch pinned and welded brake, so you can't remove the brake here. Three chamber, carbine gas, with a fully modular handguard. Put our standard match trigger in here, paired with the hoe grip and the CTR adjustable stock. All of our cold competition rifles guarantee sub-minute at 100 yards. 
can see this at coldcompetitionrifle.com. Lipsy's booth. I'm talking to Jason, and he's going to show us a new one of his exclusives he got here. A nice little takedown, a special version for the 1022. Go ahead, Jason. All right, Jeff. This is one of our new models. It's a uh, it's a stainless steel 1022 takedown with the black and gray laminate stock. We're doing it with the 16-inch barrel. It's threaded half a 28. It'll come with a curve uh, protector cap instead of the flash hider. Uh, we're also going to do it in blue as well. And these should be out this spring. Uh, it'll have a special uh, takedown case. And we're also going to do some stainless ones with pink laminate stock, and they'll be threaded as well. So we'll be looking for them uh, on lipsysguns.com, and uh, we'll have them out hopefully in the next few months. Okay, thank you. Red Jacket Farms. They come out with a unique uh, suppressor for the KSG. They make a lot of different suppressors, but this one really caught my eye, and I want to let him tell you a little bit more about it. Go ahead, Jack. Thank you. This is uh, one of our latest designs. Actually, probably our actual latest design. Decided to do something that no one else had done, is go ahead and actually make a dedicated suppressor for the KSG. This is actually a mount that just bolts on in place of the factory front end cap that has the sling mounts, preserves the sling mounts. The suppressor, pull a button, quick detach, and quick fast detach. Pop it right back off. We're also going to make multiple mounts for standoff devices, muzzle brakes, flash hiders, whatever the market drives towards. That way, this right here is not a NFA item, just the suppressor is. So you can put this on your shotgun, don't have to worry about any NFA paperwork while the suppressor is not attached because it's four multiple front end attachments. The entire suppressor is made of 6061. It'll be fully welded together. It's all billet machine. Each individual section is machined from a solid chunk and then attached together with a tight fitment and welded. Let's go to Zach. What's your website? Redjacketfirearms.com. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Sir. With Chris and Angela Barrett. They've got their new, uh, got some interesting features on the new uh, Rec 7 Gen 2. And they're going to tell you a little bit more about it. Go ahead, Chris. We've got a lot of new enhancements to the Rec 7 this year. So this is our Generation 2 model. We're taking all the great stuff we learned on Rec 7, the one we've been making for years, and we've done a lot of great things to it. Uh, most notably, we've got a brand new handguard system that's an actual Barrett proprietary design, and it borrows a lot of design cues from our 98B, uh, 82A1 MRAF family. So it has the shape of a Barrett rifle, the vent holes that are very familiar to a Barrett rifle. Uh, one thing we're very excited about is our new patented gas block feature. So this gas block, rather than being held on by cross pins or set screws like traditional gas blocks, it's actually held on with a locking nut that goes around the barrel that allows the user to change the gas block or remove it for service without any complicated tools. It removes with a wrench only. So we're very excited about that. Uh, it also comes in a lot of uh, new colors that match the color palette on our uh, MRADs and M107s. So now you can have one of every Barrett rifle in a matching color, like you've always wanted. <laughs> right? Exactly. What color is that? This one is tan, and we got the OD green over here. So we've got tan and olive drab, and a tungsten gray, and black. Steve Everybody's black. favorite. Yeah. What's your website? What can we go look at? If you want to know any more about our products, any of our other new products out for this year, go to Barrett.net. This is yeah. one of our new exclusive. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the Lotus thing. Yeah. You ready? Um, 